Hi, this is Glenda, and today I'm going to be making a soap inspired in the fragrance, which is Cherry Blossom, and it's going to be called Process. So, the fragrance I will be using is called Cherry Blossoms, and it's by Brambleberry. My oils are at, a, are at around, a little bit over 100 temperature-wise, and the light water is very similar, like it feels just slightly warm to the touch, but not hot. The fragrance, because it is a Florida fragrance, tends to accelerate and rise. So what I've done is that I've diluted it with some avocado oil. And ideally, I think I should warm this to about 100 degrees to prevent acceleration. Or I was reading that on the Brambleberry website. They had a tip. And I think they said to dilute it with other oils it could be the oils from your recipe and warm them up, I think to 100 degrees or something like that. But anyway, for now, I'm just going to um, blend the light water with the oils to reach emulsification. Okay, I actually reached um, light trace, which I wasn't going for because I was, I was having a hard time telling if it had emulsified or not in this container. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to divide it by half. I'm going to have two colors. And what I need to have, it's about 21 ounces. All right, that's good enough. You know, I have not added the fragrance or anything and it's already behaving as if I had. I can see some raisin. This recipe has lard completely instead of tallow, beef tallow. And it seems to be moving faster without the fragrance. So I need to work even faster. What I have here is some mica. Let me show you. It's Azure Blue Mica. And I'll be using this one that you can't read, so who knows what that is. But it's pink. I have it dispersed in some oil to help with the blending. And to the other one, I'm going to add some of the pink, which I also need to blend with the oil. And it's avocado oil. So now I'm going to blend them with the uh, blender and I'm going to add a little bit more of um, avocado oil just to help them break down a little bit since it's becoming quite thick. All right, um, I can tell in this container, I could tell that it's not, a, not everything is incorporated. However, this is more than it was before, and it has become quite thick. This one seems to have loosened up some with the oil. So maybe I will add more avocado oil there, just a little bit. I really don't want to go too high on my super fat. I did start with about 5% um, super fat. So all these extra bits of oils that I'm adding will probably give me about a 6% super fat. And these two colors, what I want them to represent is like a view from underneath a cherry blossom tree when you look at the sky. So hopefully this, the pink that I have will be similar to that. So first I'm going to put um, the sky color and then from this point out, I'm just going to add primarily the pink. And it seems that I need an extra spoon to do that. So let me. At first, I just want it to be more like um, like lines, like here and there, just the way you will see the pattern. Oh boy, I forgot the fragrance, didn't I? Oh no. 
Okay. Let me see. How can I recover this? If I get some of the blue with the pink, it's just going to give it a... Which in here is looking more like teal. It's going to give it a purplish tone. So I'm not too worried about, about getting some of that in here. But if my soap is this thick without the fragrance, I can only imagine what's going to happen once I add the fragrance. So I'm going to have to keep moving even faster. At least I had only put one layer. Alright, so I blended it in as best as I could. And now it's time to pour it into the mold. And I'm just going to um, continue adding it to the mold now that the fragrance is incorporated. And just like little blobs of colors so that they're not all in the same spot but that the pink will be in between the light blue and hopefully once the um, saponification is completed uh, the colors will lighten up they should lighten up some but um, hopefully the blue looks more like blue it's looking a little bit tealish now right now All right, so I'm done with the scraping. First, I'm gonna try to create a smoother top. And then I'm gonna try and decide what to do as far as texture. Let's see, I'm, I have about at one or two flowers per bar. So maybe I'll try and do something in the middle so that the, it's not gonna be like a very raised top, just slightly. And so, uh, I don't know. What do you think? It's just like a wavy look in the center. Yeah, I think that will do. I'm just going to put flowers in the middle just to make sure that every bar has one. You can usually get about seven bars out of this mold. So this one's I think I'm being, I'm doing it too close. Let me put one on this other end. Because I do like my bars to be on the thicker side so that they last longer in the shower. But hopefully the colors and the powder inside are pretty. Alright, so it's been about 30 hours since I poured this. And the soap still seems to be sticking. Well, this is the one that I that I tried to check on earlier, so this was like that this morning. The other side seems to be more set, and it's not a clean release. However, it is very solid, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Alright, so it looks like <laughs> this wasn't ready to come out. It was stuck to the bottom as well, or at least on the corners. And you can, it feels soft on the edges. So it is a different recipe I'm trying out. It could be the recipe, I'm not sure. But it's not looking pretty. Oh well. You live, you learn. This is how it's looking on the inside. It's similar to what I wanted, but not entirely the same. And these bars are going to need a lot of cleanup.
If you made it this far, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do that by clicking on the logo, which will be somewhere on the screen. Otherwise, I hope to see you next week. Bye.